Today our topic is introduction to statistical mechanics. In this video we will learn statistical mechanics, its history and we will also study statistical mechanics and types of statistical mechanics. We also study about the probability works, macroscopic and microscopic properties of thermodynamics and we will also know about the relation between macroscopic properties of thermodynamics and statistical mechanics and further we will study phase space and application of statistical mechanics. So this is the branch of science which deals with the study of behavior of a system with large number of particles. Consider a box having n number of particles when temperature increase their kinetic energy increase and they will move randomly and fastly move and when we have n number of molecules they will also move and to study these molecules or particles in a box we use statistical mechanics. So this is the branch of science that deals with the study of behavior of a system with large number of particles. If we go back into the history we will know about the history of statistical mechanics. It starts from thermodynamics in 1797 and further developed in 18th century. Many scientists worked on it. Few of them are Rutherford, Kelvin, Gibbs, Jowles and Thomas. Statistical mechanics tells us about the microscopic properties and thermodynamics tells us about the macroscopic study. In thermodynamics, we take experimental data and take a equation PV is equal to nRT to show the relation of pressure volume number of molecules and general gas constant R and the temperature. After this a question arises in our mind why we study statistical mechanics. So answer is simple to study the complex system. When we have large number of molecules we take statistical mechanics to study these number of molecules, atoms, ions or molecules further etc. Studying statistical mechanics help us to make sense of this complexity and predict their macroscopic properties. It also tells us about the macroscopic and microscopic properties like kinetic energy behavior that we have already studied that when temperature increase kinetic energy is also increased and when we have large number of molecules so their random motion will be large and this can be studied by the statistical mechanics. To study thermodynamic properties like temperature, pressure and heat capacity. So to study these parameters we also study the statistical mechanics. In, statisti me in statistical mechanics we also study the thermodynamic properties like temperature, pressure and heat capacity. It tells us also about the phase transition. What's the phase transition? The phase transition are like melting point, boiling point, magnetization involves changes in a system's behavior. These all are things depends upon the temperature, pressure and heat capacity. Like this melting and boiling point depends upon the temperature. We also study the magnetization and demagnetization on the base of temperature. We also know paradigm ferromagnetic substance when temperature increase what happened. We will see these all the things in further lecture. Further we will study about the types of statistical mechanics. Before studying types of statistical mechanics we should know about the classical theories on the base of thermodynamics which were developed by the Maxwell Boltzmann Gibbs which is known as Maxwell Boltzmann statics. We all studied we study all these things in classical theory. Further in quantum mechanics, quantum statistical mechanics, we use Einstein and Boson. Einstein and Boson theories which tells us about the both particles having integral spin and also study about the photons. And secondly, we take Fermi direct statistics which tells us about the odd integral spin electron as we know 
electron in an orbital having spin motion and orbital motion their motion is also shown by bose einstein and fermi direct statistical mechanic tells us about the probability work as we know statistical mechanics is based on probability work so first of all we will know about how probability works so the question is how probability works so before studying the probability of particle we take an example of a coin for example you have a coin if we flip the coin the 50% chances of landing head or tail so here are here the two probabilities tells us about the coin in same way probabilities tells us about the container having large number of molecules and if the pressure is increased or decreased and if the temperature is also decreased or increased then what will be the effect on particles in a container before giving an idea about probability work first of all we should know about the macroscopic level or microscopic level so first of all we will know about the macroscopic thermodynamics and then we'll move to statistical mechanics so what is the macroscopic thermodynamics so thermodynamics is concerned only with macroscopic quantities and ignores the microscopic variables that characterize individual molecules we have already seen this example that when we study large number of molecule macroscopically then we will not know about the probability inside the box if we have large number of molecules and their random motion that will be shown in statistical mechanics then if you are learning about macroscopically then go to thermodynamics it tells us about the macroscopic properties for example behavior of gases when subjected to change in temperature pressure and volume these are the basic parameters temperature pressure and volume that tells us about the when these are increasing or decreasing then what will be the its effect in its surrounding we all study these things in macroscopic level to study a system on microscopic level we first of all know about the phase space so what is the phase space in statistical mechanics phase space is a space in which all the point state of a system are represented by points as you can see here in a diagram that this shows about the zero point and with the increase in time then what will be the change in position and momentum it also tells us about the position and momentum of each particle in the system and represented by a point in phase space phase space calculate the probability of finding the system in particular state there is another term which name is entropy that have a major role in statistical mechanics so first of all we will study what is role of entropy in statistical mechanics as we know statistical mechanics is a branch of science which establishes the interpretation of interpretation of macroscopic behavior in term of its microscopic constituent there is an equation which shows about the entropy in statistical mechanics here you can see the equation in equation s shows the entropy and macroscopic property and this symbol shows number of microstates this shows that by using entropy we can study the microstates in statistical mechanics which will be very helpful which we see in further for example a room with toys clothes and books scattered all over the place now entropy is the disorder things are in your room the more things are scattered randomly the higher the entropy so in simple term entropy is the disorderness or scatteredness or scattering the objects is known as entropy so to study disorderness we should first know about the thermodynamic connection with statistical mechanics so what is the thermodynamic connection of statistical mechanics as we know thermodynamics deals with macroscopic behavior like temperature 
pressure, volume and energy. But in case of statistical mechanics, we focus on microscopic behavior of particles such as atom or molecule. It considered their position, velocities and interaction which are too complex to track individually. So by using the relation which we already have studied, we can find the thermodynamic connection of statistical mechanics. In last, we will learn about the application of statistical mechanics. So there is the wide range of application of statistical mechanics such as gases, liquid, solids and phase transition. We also study statistical mechanics in astrophysics, plasma physics and more there are further branches, large number of branches where we, we will study about the statistical mechanics. If you have the question about today's lecture you can ask in a comment section. Please like the video and subscribe the channel.